Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I bring you all the latest commission I did for a fellow friend and cosplayer. I do apologize for the delay on the upload. It's been crazy, crazy busy on my end. Uh, luckily at the moment of this recording, it is currently spring break. So things are relatively slow at work so I can catch up on other things. Um, without further ado, let me get into it and touch base with all of you. Um, first things first, I sort of want to give context as to how this commission came about. My friend from one of my Discord uh, roleplay servers saw the commissions I was doing to gather funds for helping out with the medical bills when my dad was in the hospital with COVID and for the car accident that I was involved in. She saw that I was getting into backgrounds and wanted to help out with... Um, getting the funds so somehow she asked if she could commission me to draw her original character haku which you will see on the right and my character mitsuri um supposedly they're doing the night patrol while at their hero internships um these are our uh, original characters for my hero academia and she wanted this scene to be like a nighttime scene um patrol in the city I want to first start explaining the process um, of this drawing. Um, I think I started making the scene of the street and used uh, one point perspective to scope everything relatively to each other. I looked up various uh, types of street layouts and perspectives and show them to my commissioner. Um, and I kind of just combine most of the references together um, to create the scenery that you see here. I also think that in the city areas of the actual anime of uh, Boku no Hero Academia, there are alleyways and streets similar to this. They're just less clutter with benches and trees and the greenery that you will see here. I think at some point you will see that I'm um, using both my body chants to get the pose right. And while it does take me a little bit of time to like re-structure uh, everything for the body proportions for each character i think overall um the height difference is good uh like mitsuri is shorter than haku but it also doesn't help that haku also wears heels um i also had to reference a lot of the verbal description that the commissioner told me about for the hero outfit for haku um, part of my problem and struggles with um, this piece in particular was the clothing of the characters. I decided to redo Mitsuri's um, hero outfit and prop to match better how her current development, development is. Um, the initial outfit that I had for Mitsuri was similar to this, but it was kind of hard to draw. So I decided to take inspiration from Maka from uh, Soul Eater, but a little bit more tomboyish. Maka um, also has a trench coat and a very long range weapon, but in Mitsuri's case, this is a giant brush. I really like the cargo pants that I gave her, though I do think um, we'll redesign her uh, outfit for her second year hero outfit to be a little bit more feminine. I might draw that out in a future video. Um, in theory, Haku's clothes and color palette sound great on paper, but girl, when everything about her is pale and white with a little bit of lilac sprinkle in, in a night setting. <sighs> when I tell you my brain was making so many mental hoops just to make it sense in my head, I would be lying. Uh, like the outfit itself, it's fine. I enjoy drawing her out. And as you can see here, she has a miniskirt with uh, the high boots with heels. And it's just an overall cutesy active fit vibe that she has going on. But from what the commissioner describes, she also has this tonfins that she uses to defend herself and attack. Her aesthetic is also like taking inspiration from the crescent moon and the moon in general. So when people think of the moon, they think of something luminous and silver-like colors and this ethereal glow to it. And this is the part of the coloring that had me struggling. Now, before I get into the coloring, you'll see me sort of outline the background and block out in gray the character silhouettes and clean up the line art. Long time viewers of my channel know that I block out 
or gray out the characters before coloring to make sure that I pick the right temperature for my colors. This is an old painting technique called grease style that I translated to my digital painting. I also make sure to clean up my line art and the edges of the gray section to clip my coloring layers onto so it's in this local restrained area. Immediately I will go into rendering the background and sort of plan where my light sources will be um, and try to visualize how this piece would go. Um, now let me tell you personally this is the most interesting part of the speed paint because it was definitely a struggle um, coloring this piece but it was both fun and also hellish to do all of this. I really wasn't sure how to go about the coloring for this piece so I approached it in a more painterly style and I'm super messy with how I laid down my colors. I'm essentially approaching this like how would um, a traditional oil paint and in firstly thinking about where my areas of local color and lighting and ambient light would be at, uh, and where the shadows generally would be. Of course, I know this will be a lot of layers and blending and playing around with the colors. Uh, but in my head, it made more sense to work on the background and let that determine how dark the shadows would be or how, how light would bounce off the characters. And if I understood the environment and lighting that the characters were in, then I would um, visualize better um, what the characters will look like when it came down to coloring them. I sort of tried to bustle together what the streets were lights would illuminate and then decided I really really didn't like how that approach um, was going so I just kind of slowly started to play with the coloring position and the greenery. Um, sometimes in this meat paint you will see like this green like snake thingamabob. That is the selection pen <laughs> because my dumbest thought that it would make more sense to keep things in the same layer um, and at the blending modes on top of it, which was not a great idea because it was a pain in the ass to keep everything where it needed to be. Um, <laughs> I did ask a lot of my artist friends to sort of look over um, the drawing and give me some direction because quite frankly, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Uh, my good friend Hima, shout out to her, did help me out by let me, letting me know that you can create a clipping mask in Clip Studio and add the ambient light that way, but I did, I just could not figure it out. I did not know how to do it, and I also like tried it and found out that um, it just didn't give me the soft edge that I wanted. I also had to reference a lot of night scenes in, in visual novels. Because for some reason, they always get those night scenes looking super, super beautiful and luminous. And that's kind of like the vibe that I was going for. Then you see me sort of start to swatch the colors and for the characters. Like the color white and shading white or anything silver is all about contrast. And when the picture is so damn dark, it's really hard to think of white as white. Um, I also had a bit of trouble deciding what color to make Mitsuri's clothes. Like, something about it just didn't look right to me. I had to play around with the some colors. And another huge shout out to my friend Etheria or Etheria for being my fashion check because this entire palette is, is a huge disaster. <laughs> Again, with the shading, I had to take in mind two light sources because we have ambient light from the window to the left and the street lamp to um, the right of where the posts are and that light is a little bit stronger so I had to add a bunch more lights to sort of deepen up the shadows and make sure it made sense logically but how light is bouncing around. I think overall I spent a good two months on this commission. Uh, the commissioner definitely had to wait a really long time I want to say it was about two months or so for it to be completely, completely done. I was really adamant about um, turning in the commission before the new year started so I could work on other things this year. 
And when it did turn in the commission to her, she was really impressed by how everything looked. So I'm really glad I was able to capture the vibe that she was looking for. Um, for my next video, because time's about to run out, um, for my next video, I'll be uploading a patron exclusive pa speed paint and my thoughts on bad art. Um, and for that patron exclusive speed paint, I'll be showing my patrons some really old fan art, in my opinion, that counts as bad art. So um, if you're interested in that, maybe check out my patron. As always, a big thanks to my patrons as their kind support helps me get the supplies and pay for my Clip Studio paint subscription. Patrons also get extra perks and hear from me a little bit more often, like updates and progression on projects behind the scenes, as well as some more personal takes on things. If you are interested in seeing that sort of thing, please consider joining my Patreon. You can support me with just $1 a month to get updates, but if you want some extra perks, maybe consider joining in at the $5 tier. That will be all for me for now, guys. I have another one to record right after this. Um, so I hope to reconnect with you guys in the next upcoming video. Bye, you guys. Have a good one.